Hi there! This is an update on my robot project and more specifically the brain. So over the past several months I've been working on bits and pieces of the brain. However, my focus has been mainly on the motors, on the physical side of the robot. I've been doing a lot of 3D printing and if you followed my um, YouTube videos so far you know kind of where I am with that. At some point I've also transitioned from Raspberry Pi 3 to Raspberry Pi 4. I've moved some of the tasks from uh, Raspberry Pi to Arduino and I've upgraded some components so um, certain parts work uh, individually uh, but it's not glued all together yet. They don't function as a unit. So in this video I'm going to give you a tour of what I have so far and hopefully in the upcoming months uh, I'll also have some updates on how I put things together. Since the last video I've attached the head to the main body of the robot and the skull it's all 3D printed um, and I have a bunch of servos inside to control different aspects of the head movement. Inside I have a Raspberry Pi 4 and I also have a hat. Let's look at it from this side. I have a hat for audio. Uh, so I have a plug for the speakers. And then this is a microphone array. So this is the cable for the microphone array. And then I'm using quite um, a lot of the USB ports. So I have this one for the Arduino, this one for the camera. Both eyes have uh, cameras inside. A USB that uh, is just extending to a USB hub because I need more ports so that provides power supply to some of the other components. And this one is the Google Coral that you see there. The plan is to use it for some machine learning. And here in the back, I have a bunch of um, servo motor drivers with all the servo cables coming from the head and plugged in here. And this is the Arduino. So the Arduino will control uh, the motor function and also sensory input through the analog pins mainly. Um, it will be the Raspberry Pi that sits here that will send commands to the Arduino on how to move. And then the sensory information compiled by the Arduino will be sent back to the Raspberry Pi. At least that's, that's the plan. So inside I have a bunch of uh, servos that control the eye movement, eyebrows, eyelids. And also if we go further down here you have the two servos controlling the jaw, but also inside I have some servos for and uh, the lip movement and the mouth. Also, I have uh, two uh, sensors here, close to the nose. Uh, they are gas sensors. Uh, one is for alcohol detection and the other for uh, fumes, I think. For the two USB video cameras, I haven't done so much, I just tested that they work and then installed OpenCV on the Raspberry Pi, uh, tried some face tracking but still have some work to do. For talking with the robot I started playing a bit with uh, Rasa. Um, so this is a tool that I can use to, to train my robot to have some conversation 
I have some rules, some stories that I fit in and uh, it can do also some uh, standard things uh, like the other uh, voice assistants, check for weather and ask uh, stupid questions like uh, what's your name, are you a robot and so on. And the plan is to integrate this part with uh, speech to text and text to speech components that I've been working on and when I glue all of this together hopefully I can have uh, some kind of conversation with the robot. And here's a try from December last year, where I was uh, also using the microphone array, so the green LED indicates the direction of speech. And um, it's a basic implementation of putting all these components together. Jarvis, how's the weather like today? In what location? Jarvis? In Copenhagen. The weather condition is like rain in Copenhagen at the moment. The temperature is 7 degrees, the humidity is 93% and the wind speed is 17 mph. That is it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.